Determine the equation of the straight line by setting the angle A of the triangle with vertices having the coordinate 4, 3, 0, 0 and 2, 3. Now let's begin. So here what we'll do, we'll try to understand the problem graphically first. We have a triangle ABC and the coordinates of the vertices are given to us. So here we need to find out the equation of the straight line which is bisecting the angle A. Meaning, we need to find out the equation of AD. Here, AD is bisecting angle A, or you can say BAD equals CAD. Okay, now in order to find out the equation of AD, we'll be needing to find out the coordinates of D, which we will assume as X, Y. Now, we know that since AD is the bisector of angle A, then we can say that the ratio of the side AB to that of AC, that's the side adjacent to angle A, this will be equals to BD to that of DC. So let this be number one. Now we can immediately find out the length of AB. So AB is going to be equals to, we can use the distance formula. So here we'll take the square root, underneath the square root, we need the difference of the X coordinate. So that's four minus zero, square it and add it to the difference of the Y coordinate. So that's three minus zero squared. This is going to give us a value five. Then we can also find out the length AC. So AC is going to be the square root of the difference of the x coordinate 4 minus 2 squared added to the difference of the y coordinate so that's 3 minus 3 squared that's going to give us a value equals to 2 so that means the psi length of side ab that's 5 units and length of side ac that's 2 units so if we substitute these two values in one then we get bd to that of dc we get the ratio 5 is to 2 so in other words we can say that point d divides BC in the ratio 5 is to 2. So this is dividing it in the ratio 5 is to 2. Which means we can easily find out the coordinate of D by using the internal section formula. So the internal section formula states that we need to multiply 5 with the coordinate C and 2 will get multiplied with the coordinate B and that's going to give us the coordinate of point D. So we have assumed that D has the coordinates X comma Y. So this will be to find out the X coordinate. All we have to do is take 5 and multiply it with the X coordinate of point C. So 5 times 2, that's going to be 10. This will be added to 2 times the X coordinate of B. So that's simply 0 divided by the sum of the ratios. So that's 5 added to 2. And to find out the Y coordinate, we take 5 and multiply it with the Y coordinate of C. So that's 5 times 3, 15 added to 2 times the y coordinate will be, so the 0 divided by 5 plus 2, which gives us the value 10 over 7, comma 15 over 7. So that means the coordinate of point D will be 10 over 7, comma 15 over 7. Now that we have the coordinates of point D, we can easily find out the equation of AD by using the two-point form of a line. Let's quickly discuss the two-point form of a line. The two-point form of a line states that if we have two points, let's say one of the points has the coordinates x1, y1, and the other point has the coordinates x2, y2, and we have a straight line which passes through these two points, then the equation of that line will be given by y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 whole multiplied to x minus x1. Okay, so let us begin. So here, We'll consider A to be x1, comma y1, and B to be e, D to be equivalent to x2, comma y2, such that we get the equation of the angle bisector of A, which is AD. So that will be given by y minus y1. So y1 will be uh, this is y1. So y1 will be the y coordinate point A. So that's three equals to. Now we need y2, which is 15 over 7 minus y1. That's three divided by we need um, 10 over 7 this is x2 minus x1 so x1 will be 4 whole multiplied to x minus x1 so x1 is 4 so when we solve this we're going to get the equation of line ad so that comes out to be x minus 3y plus 5 equals to 0 so this is going to be the equation of ad or you can say the equation of the angle bisector a 